Welcome to another video about VPNs. So as I promised in the previous video, I know it's been a long time since I made the last video, but the last video was one of my most popular videos. Um, so I wanted to get back into recording and I wanted to show you guys how to set up your own VPN server. So in this case, I'm just using DigitalOcean. You guys are welcome to use whatever VPS you want. You can use Linode or whatever else you want that's out there. But I love DigitalOcean, so I'm going to stick with these guys. And uh, another thing is I have a referral code for you guys. So if you click on the link, uh, it's going to be in the description below. If you use that link to sign up for DigitalOcean, you're going to get $10 for free. So we're using the $5 a month block. That's, that means you get $2, uh, two months free of private VPN. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to uh, type in my host name. Uh, OpenVPN is good enough. Um, so you can call this whatever you want, uh, you know, Tommy, Susie, um, whatever, just to give it a host name. Uh, so I'm going to choose the $5. This is good enough. Uh, I'm going to choose Singapore for my region. Ubuntu 1404 is good. Then I'm going to select my SSH key so I can log into the server. If you don't know what these are, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a video about it so you guys can know what it is and how you can log into your server and do stuff on it. So with that set up, I'm going to click create droplet and that's going to take uh, about 60 seconds. So in the meantime, I'm going to go over here and talk to you guys about VPN clients. So that's the server part of the setup, right? That's the part where, you know, your computer needs to connect to the VPN server. So that part is being set up as we speak. Um, well, it's not going to be finished, but it's, you know, one part of it. So the next thing is you need some sort of client to connect to that server. Uh, and I've opened up a few options over here for you guys. So TunnelBlick is a free option. You can download it and you can use it on the OS X and it's entirely free. Uh, you can also use this one over here. This is the one I use. Uh, it's beautiful. It's great. And it's only nine bucks. Highly recommend that you guys get this. Um, it also works for Windows um, and on iOS, you also have OpenVPN Connect. So you can use this on your iOS device, whether it's your iPhone or iPad or anything that you guys have that starts with an I. Um, you know, this will probably work on it. It won't work on Apple Watch though. No, yeah. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So um, this will work on your Android. So they have a OpenVPN Connect client for your Android as well. So yeah, this will pretty much work on all your Android devices. And I, I don't think it's going to work on your Android watches. I don't think you need VPN on your Android watches anyway. But yeah, you never know. Okay, so that's the client part. Uh, let's take a look at the server. And uh, yeah, it's still, you know, taking some time. Let's do a reload real quick and see what happens. All right, we're moving along. Okay, so my uh, VPS is booted up here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the IP here. I'm gonna head over into the terminal and I'm gonna do a clear my screen here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, SSH root and then I'm gonna paste in my IP over here. I'm gonna get into the server, I'm gonna type yes. And we're in. Okay, so the first thing I normally do is do an app get update. And that's going to run. Uh, it's going to update all the repositories and find updates and whatnot. And the next thing I'm going to do is an upgrade. App get upgrade, just like that. Uh, so as I run this, it's going to give me a warning about locales. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to really quickly copy this here. And I'm going to set my environment uh, for language and LC all. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, you don't need to, uh, but it just bugs me that those warnings. So I just want to get that sorted out. Uh, so I'm going to do VI at C environment. And I'm going to add in the export language and export LC all. So just save and quit. Uh, so I used a VI, uh, it's a command line uh, text editor. Uh, if you guys don't know how to use VI, let me know. I'll do a video about VI, which is very simple to use and uh, you'll know how to use it. Okay, so now I, once I set the environment, I normally just do a reboot real quick. 
Um, and then uh, once it boots back up, then we're going to connect into it. Give it a moment. All right, so we're back in. Okay, now our server is ready to set up the VPN. So there's a script over here that's updated. Well, the last update was about 26 days ago, which is pretty cool. Uh, it means that it's constantly updated. It's got new stuff going on in there all the time. Uh, if you don't trust and you're super paranoid, don't use this script. But if you're not and you're okay with it, you know, and you can read the source code, then use it. So we're going to use this script to keep it very simple. Otherwise, you know, the setup process, it could be 30 minutes long. Um, I'm going to paste a script in here, hit enter. And uh, yeah, this is going to set up our VPN. Hit enter for the IP. Port 11494 is okay. Um, I'm not going to let it be available on port 53. And uh, yeah, I will enable internal networking. So I'm going to choose the Google DNS. Uh, you guys can choose whichever one you want. Um, there's a few options over here. Google is fine. And in this one, I'm going to type in, um, you know, my VPN as the client name. So let me explain a little bit about the client certificate. Uh, so this certificate file, uh, you can use it on one client. So for example, if you use this one on your computer, you might say that's top. And then you might have one for your iOS. So you like iPhone or an iPad, you know, or if you have like a family member, like mom, you know, or dad wants to watch Netflix or whatever. Uh, so you have a different certificate for different clients. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to call it my VPN. And that's good enough for me. Hit enter, continue. It's going to set up the entire thing for you. Uh, it's beautiful. It's great. So I recommend that you guys use the script. Keeps things very simple. And uh, yeah, once this is done, your VPN will be ready to use. Okay. So it's done setting up the VPN and it's given us a, a client certificate here. It tells us it's in the home folder. So if I do an LS over here, uh, I have it right over here, my VPN. And uh, if I run that script again, you'll get a very different result. Uh, so you can add a certificate for a new user. So if you have a new user, you can use choose option one. Um, and if you want to revoke a previous certificate that you you know, given to people and you want to like, Hey, I'm not your friend anymore. I'm not going to let you use my VPN. Then you can use option two for that. Uh, if you want to just remove entire VPN all together, then just use option three. Um, but for now I'm just going to exit and I am going to, uh, copy this file, uh, into my local computer. So right now I'm on the server. I'm going to exit from here to go back to my computer. And what I'm going to do is uh, SCP. So this is secure copy and the root. And then I'm going to copy over here and paste my um, IP address for the server to get that file. So my VPN dot OVPN. And I'm going to paste it in my home folder in the local computer. I'm going to hit enter. So that's going to copy that file down. I'm going to go into finder and we will see my OVPN, my VPN dot OVPN right over here. So all I have to do is once I have those clients installed, the one I mentioned uh, over here. So one of these clients um, for the iOS, you can connect it to your iTunes and you can copy that file into your uh, iTunes and it'll register over here. But if you're on the Mac uh, or on windows, you can just double click and it's going to install the VPN. So I have viscosity right over here. Here it says connect to my VPN. I'm going to click connect. Um, so actually now that I'm connected, I'm going to show you guys, if I go to Google, you'll see that it's google.com.sg. So Google automatically puts me in the Singaporean region. Now, if I disconnect from here, uh, I'm going to disconnect from my VPN. I'm going to go to Google. You'll see it as Google Thailand, uh, which is where I am right now. Um, so yeah, uh, there you go. VPN all set up and ready to go. Um, so if you go, um, don't forget, I do have that code for you guys, which will give you $10 for free. Um, it's in the description below. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to add more videos about VPN reviews. If you don't want to set up your own VPN and you want to use something that's already out there, 
I plan to do like reviews of the different services out there, talk about, you know, which one is good, which one is not good, why, what are their strengths and weaknesses. And, uh, you know, they have different purposes for, you know, you know, they serve different kinds of uh, purposes as well. So with that all said, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Um, let me know if you guys have any issues. I'm more than happy to help and I will see you guys in the next one.